Hi, I'm Matt Venn, an open source silicon enthusiast, and for my entry to the Hackaday 1Hz challenge, I decided to make a blinky LED using an open source 555 timer. So let me show you how it works. This is the project page for the 555 timer, and it's made by Vincent Fusco. You can check out their 3D view here. It's pretty cool to see how it looks like inside the chip and you can also separate out the layers there. And there's a bit of information about how to test it and which uh, pins go where. And you can see that it's one project out of many projects that are part of Tiny Tape Out 6. And if you haven't heard of Tiny Tape Out, it's a way of making it very cheap to experiment with open source silicon, taping out your designs for a few hundred bucks. Now, the actual design files are here in the GitHub repository and Vincent has done a great job on documenting the design so you can have a look at the layout and how things actually work, the operation, uh, the schematics, and he's even got a bit of um, history in here as well. So very nicely documented. Now, to actually get it working, we have to connect to the ASIC using this web interface. And then I can search for the timer and enable it. Because we've got all those designs on the one chip, I only want the one thing working. And this one also needs the uh, reset applied. Let me just connect to the scope first though. So at the moment there's nothing happening, but once I take it out of reset, I'm getting my uh, square wave. Now it's not exactly one hertz, so I'm prepared to lose some points for that, uh, but it's fairly close. Could be made closer with some tweaking. So let's go over to the bench and check out that that LED is actually blinking. Blinky blinky, got my two surface mount resistors. And then they connect up to the ASIC board here. And for the analog projects, they go into these little sockets. And there's the scope again. So thanks for checking out my project. I hope you enjoyed it. And good luck to all the other contestants. You're going to need it to beat the power of the open source 555.